Kevin Haig. It's a shame, Mr Speaker. I, I, I thought maybe you were going to announce we'd taken it out after all. But, um, Mr Speaker, I, ri I, I rise with pleasure to support uh, uh, Chris Bishop's uh, Member's Bill. I think this is um, a good use of the House's time. It achieves something positive, which the Green Party certainly supports. Uh, I sit on the Health Select Committee and, of course, I'm looking forward, uh, along with Simon O'Connor, I'm sure, to hearing the submissions that will be made by members of the public, by medical professionals and those with, a, with an issue around, uh, with uh, expertise around ethics uh, on, on the bill and its provisions. Mr Speaker, um, I, I would take issue with something that Simon O'Connor just said. He said we, the New Zealand has a low uh, rate of donation of, of organs. In fact, um, when organs are, are donated from recently deceased people, I know that uh, the issue is raised from time to time that that, that rate could be higher. But in fact, the evidence uh, that the Select Committee has heard when it has previously considered the issue of organ donation rates um, has been that actually uh, the, the, the rate of donation from recently <coughs> deceased persons uh, is as high as we could reasonably expect. The problem is that the need for organ donation is so much higher uh, than the available supply of organs from that source. And that's why the live organ donation that, um, that, this, that this bill uh, is concerned with is so important. Mr Speaker, uh, one of the reasons that that's going to become even more of an issue in the future is that New Zealand has such a high rate of diabetes. Uh, Mr Speaker, we, we already have a Kirsten uh, Coppell from the University of Otago in 2012, I think it was, um, conducted research that indicated that one New Zealander over the age of 15 in four either has diabetes already or has pre-diabetes. And that is, Mr Speaker, a massive problem because the rate of complication uh, in all sorts of areas of, of the human body is very high um, from diabetes, and one of those areas is indeed um, around the kidneys. So the need for uh, kidney tissue in the future is only going to increase. So uh, if we are to respond to that growing number of New Zealanders' need at all, we need to increase the rate at which uh, live donors um, participate in this program. And Elizabeth Prasad's um, work is very clear that, uh, that probably the main reason that um, people are disinclined to, to join that program um, is around the financial penalty that we effectively place on them currently. And so Chris Bishop's bill addresses the issue uh, which we know to be the greatest obstacle to an extremely important and necessary service as part of our health services. The Attorney General has, has made a report um, finding a problem with, with the bill, as, as members will be aware, that the, the bill um, treats uh, inappropriately uh, those New Zealanders who both receive benefits and also have paid employment. It discriminates against those, those, uh, those persons. But uh, Chris Bishop has, to his great credit, acknowledged that problem in his response to the attorney's report and has indicated that he would be very pleased for the select committee to address that issue when we consider uh, the bill. Um, and uh, certainly that would be my intention, uh, Mr Speaker. I think that's probably all I need to say at this stage. Look forward to hearing those submissions from the public um, and, from the, and from the health professions at the select committee uh, shortly. Thank you.